Hey guys, um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, my trip to Canada. I was living in misery. I was staying, you know, I rented a room from someone that I met like last year. And, uh, and uh, so I'm going to go into great details what's going on. So well, I'm sorry about the background. I'm walking in the street. So when I'm recording this. Anyhow, I end up renting a room uh, just outside the city for a bit. Like it's uh, basically the suburb of the Toronto. And um, so it's been pumped, you know, with radiation uh, 24-7 in, in the room that I was renting. But they had all these devices, you know. Uh, basically inflicting a lot of pain on me when when I'm in the room I'm constantly being attacked and uh, when I've been attacked it's like it was constant I used to wake up in the morning like with a lot of pain and and um, you know in the back and the neck and uh, under my head and the stuff and you know radiation causes like you know, cancer and stuff. And it's very calculated. The whole thing is very calculated. And then the person I was renting from a room that I went, I met last year, uh, which is, I met last year. And um, I thought, initially, I thought we met on a coincidence. Fluke. But it turned out to be, we, it was, he came into my life with his agenda. Like, basically, he's part of the system. He's part of these people. And, uh, which is fine. But he came, like, to play the, all these games and very dismissive. And, uh, you know, he had issues with this, you know, the he has two kids and you know the the mothers of his kids um well there are two of them so they're you know anyhow they were you know doing uh, a lot of uh gaslighting to him to the point to the point he had to go to see a, a shrink because it affected him greatly but then when I was, when I was, you know, staying in his house and I was going to like, I would, my energy level was not great. I was, I felt like sick all the time. And, uh, and um, with him being with him there in that room, you mean in that house, it wasn't helping either because he, he was gaslighting me. Something was done to him, and he was doing it to me. Make sense? So he, had, I guess, I guess he had a lot of practice, you know, being done to him, and and uh, so I've noticed something about his behavior. He's very, let's say, um, I, apart from being dismissive, I felt like he's cold. His his personality is very cold. You know what I'm saying? Very cold. There's no... I just felt like he's... Yeah, like his behavior is very neutral, but he's not neutral like enough. Be very deceptive, kind of, you know. That's what I felt. I felt like I wasn't getting... Uh, you know, uh, the true self that he's hiding. But then I, I started to see it when I started to provoke him a little bit. I started, he started to come out, his true self. It wasn't, it wasn't pleasant, you know? So I just said to myself, oh, okay. Um, so now I know meeting this person, it was not a coincidence. This person just showed up, you know, out of the blue, that's all a lie. I just think some of these people who are in this program, some of them, they don't know each other. They 
everybody coming from a different kind of you know the, but in a, that neighborhood when i was in his house i was being tormented and attacked verbally insulted and and yata 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 right so i was him like i wasn't humiliated it was like trying they trying to demean you to make you belittle you make you feel like you're nothing you know you're nobody and uh, i'm the shit and i'm the the bottom feeder of the earth and uh, when in reality i feel like i'm winning because they are really they're it decimated yes they decimated me they attacked me with radiation two and a half months but um that removes sins greatly okay so um i'm gonna talk to you about that um uh, there's something else i just came across my mind also i'm gonna reference in this video and uh in and then you you can take uh, take away what you want to take away from it you know and if it resonates with you that's fine if it doesn't uh, you know just consider it like something you heard and you move on from it anyhow to get back to him i what i noticed when i'm talking to him he's always very confrontational like whatever you say to him is always end up in confrontation it's always a debate and it's always uh, he's always he wanted you know he's one of these people who is always right everybody else is wrong his opinion is always the, the the right one nothing else you know come come close to to uh um you know they just this is the way he is because when i brought to his attention i said to him why always everything is about you um it turned into this negative debate you you're always in disbelief he's always in disbelief but i realized that i don't think this maybe he's not like that i think you know i don't know i guess i looked at him but i know he's energy vampire for sure he's one of these people who who provoke you to release you know when you're angry anger releases energy you know that it releases energy into the air you know and he kind of these people who who feed into that you know so that why he does he does he provoke you to the point to get get you angry when i realized that i just stopped i started i kept avoiding him and i didn't want nothing to do with him you understand i just felt like you know what i'm not giving you my energy i'm not feeding you anymore you know what i'm saying go and buy yourself a chicken and eat you know i'm not feeding you energy anymore and and this came to me earlier when i just got in there and i was telling him i knew i, I knew he was part of the program i tell you why he asked me what's my story so i started telling him uh because i know for the longest time i stopped like telling people what's going on in my life or whatever because they don't believe it or whatever or they don't get it when i was telling him i we sat on a couch and we were talking and um i've noticed something for him when i was telling him the story he had his eye his eyes closed you know why were people when they close their eyes what they're trying to do they are trying to listen and hide their emotion so that's what kind of give me that hint he is part of the program so i knew that he wasn't looking at me he was just closing his eyes like that that a sign a sign of deception so you guys take notes this is a sign of deception i'm telling you so i knew i i knew he was he was not um uh, playing in my team he's playing in the enemy's team but then th there's another incident that happened where i was sleeping i woke up i went to use the washroom and i came and he was in the living room talking to his shrink he was in the living room talking to his shrink over uh zoom or whatnot and um 
he was having this deep conversation and the conversation was not about himself which is very weird like when you have a conversation you talk to a shrink about you you know he's paying to a shrink to talk to a shrink why this conversation is about me he was telling her stuff about me specifically and and um, she was instructing him to ask me she was instructing him to ask me specific questions and stuff and the shrink is part of the program as well okay they're all working together they were trying to this do this like assessment of some sort and um and um and the assessment is just trying to spin it to make you feel like a crazy person. So what I'm telling you is they do stuff like that, very manipulative. Everybody in this program is very manipulative person. So I want you guys to know, because it happened to me, I want you to know that do not trust anyone coming in your life. Because everybody's going to come in your life with a motive. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, he, he's, uh, he came in my life with a motive. And I was candidly a nice person toward him. I was, you know, opening myself, telling him stuff and whatnot. But I think he had the foundation of who I am. He knew a lot about me. And um, and um, because he made he made a comment one time about me that something I've said eight years ago that he no way who would have known because I just met him last year. So how would he know this specific comment that I made? You understand? And then the radiation, being spied on. He wake up in the morning and he stays up at night with people coming from the basement and they all when he goes you know he, he you know when he stays up at night and i hear people walking around and stuff in the house but just me and him people in the basement that live in the basement but they don't have access to the main floor but there here's you know the kitchen you know the the door from the basement uh, opens like he because it's locked from you know from our side so I realized that people are coming in, you know, and um, and uh, you know the things of I provoked him because I realized that I, that's what I need to do to get him to tell me more what he's been hiding. So I provoke him, and he's he kind of spilled the beans. You know what I'm saying? I so I played him that way to get him to to reveal who he is, and it worked. You know what I'm saying? So I just said, "Oh, okay." I, and then I started saying things in the house because I because I know the house was be, being bugged. And 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 I said to him one time as a hint, I said, "You know, you're you you have a really good heart. You know, you should God always uh, uh, always." Um, what did he say? What did I say to him? Yeah, I said to him, you have a good heart and God always uh, rewards those people with a good heart. Sarcasm. That's what I meant. Like I meant like he's not, he doesn't have a good heart. That's what I meant. Like I meant the opposite, quite the opposite. And, uh, and then he said to me, you know what he said to me? He says, oh yeah, some people think I, I, I'm a bad person. Because before it, in the house, I was saying he's a horrible person. But he couldn't come up to me and say, oh, you said this about me. But then I would ask him, how do you know? Right? So is this house bugged? He, so he had, you know, I played him, he played me. But I got him to reveal who he is, which is, but I knew. My intuition told me a long time ago, before I even got into this. Um, I knew he was part of this you know stupid uh game people you know this uh facade and deception and you know i knew but and and then uh toward the end i mentioned to him um i tell you what 
I mentioned to him that I made a reference uh, about uh, I made a, a kind of little story telling him that you know the money is gonna come like basically I say I tell him I have a friend of mine name is Jay and I went on telling him this Jay is very wealthy he has a lot of money but the money has been taken away from him and the money is gonna come to him you know and um, and he's gonna reward those who feel they deserve they deserve deserve his kindness medically i'm giving him a hint i was gonna help him financially when the money comes when they give me my money you know and uh i was gonna help him In, that's my intention even though he's a horrible person but then when you know they kept radiating me and stuff and I just said to myself, you know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. And I'm going to forgive him. That's more rewarding than money. Okay? If you're going to put that on a scale, forgiveness over money, forgiveness weighs, weighs more than money. You know what I'm saying? So I gave him something great. It won't be any money coming to him, but... I gave him something weighs more. Maybe, maybe it will be enough. He'll go to heaven. Maybe it will be enough for him to uh, ascend. But I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. But someone like that, he's um, made of ice. That's my opinion of him. Okay? He's a cold person. And um, he's very you know i just felt like not neutral he's unreactive or he does not really show emotion you know and that's a trait of someone that is not made like us you know i show emotion i show you know, because the way I, this is a way I'm been made. God created me this way. I'm sad. I feel sadness. I feel happiness. I feel love. I feel I feel hate. I feel all those things. You know what I'm saying? And someone when I was going to university in Australia, an Australian guy, you know, told he told me, you know, because well, we were talking to him about something, and I just I, I was laughing. I was laughing because he told me something funny. He told me something funny. I just started laughing because I thought it was hilarious. But I can't remember where it was. Otherwise, I'll tell you. But anyhow, he told me, you laugh from your heart. He says, I've noticed something that was people who are of African origin, they always laugh from the heart area. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I know... God is being generous, you know. I, I could never be grateful enough to God of the create and, and the creator of all things for making me this way. Um, after dealing with someone like that in Canada, I think God um, made a serious effort to make me and make my ancestor the way the way we were built the way we were made from our dna from everything for every part of our being and that's something great you know what i'm saying and that's something great because i couldn't I'm, i would never want it to be like this person you know what i'm saying do i want to know him no i don't think i'm gonna say hi to him once in a while and stuff because I don't want to come across like I'm an ungrateful person because he opened his home, rent me a room or whatever. But hey, um, I'm going to be grateful enough to just say, hi, how's it going? That's it. Just kind of, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not, you know, responded, you know. If he responded, responded. If he doesn't respond, I'm just going to delete him from my phone and block him. That's it. Do I want to know him further? No, I don't want to know him. I don't want to. I don't want to cross paths with him anymore. And it's done. 
when I said to him, I forgive you, when I was leaving the, his house, um, one of my friends, one of my friends was taking me to the airport. He said, um, you know, I was taking the luggage out or whatever. So I just said to him, you know, he says, oh, do you need a ride or whatnot? And I said, no, no, my friend is coming to pick me up. And uh, so I, we have a saying in, uh, in Arabic. It's called Afu and Afia. And Afu and Afia. Mean, in meaning, like, if I do anything wrong to you, you forgive me. If you do anything wrong to me, uh, uh, you, uh, wrong to me, I forgive you. Okay? I forgive you and you forgive me kind of thing. Okay? I know I have not done anything. Yes, I was very insulting verbally sometimes, but I was, you know, because I know his house was bugged. I wasn't talking to him directly, but I wanted him to know my feeling, what my feelings kind of lay. Like I wanted him to know what my feeling about him. And, and he was very cold. He came in and, and you could tell he was a, the tension in the air, swirling in the air and stuff. And he kept his composure because he cannot confront me about what I said. I, but hey, I said things, yes. And I said things, yes, I did. That's the only thing I've done to him. Is it equivalent what he has done to me? Being, you know, in a house who's all bugged, uh, being radiated through, you know, this radiation going through my body. He knew. He knew that uh, uh, devices, you know, were put in that room that are causing me harm. He knew that. Uh, he, being be manipulative intentionally, provoking me, saying things that are very uh, hurtful of nature, calculated because somebody else told him to say things like that, that harm. I, what I did to him is just a reaction to what has been done to me. I was reacting to it. I wasn't, I'm not like that. I'm not that person, you know, who would go and do that. But I did it because I felt a little bit kind of insulted, maybe violated. You know, I felt like it's, I've been done wrong. You know what I'm saying? And this is my reaction to it. But it's not like because I was reacting because I'm a, I'm a jerk. No, I'm not a jerk. But he is. He's that kind of person. So to, you know, uh, go both forward, I saw I said to him, Afwan Afia, meaning that I, if I do anything, I have done anything bad to you, I, you know, uh, I, you know, you forgive me, and if I've done, you've done anything bad to me, I, you, I, you for, I will forgive you. Basically, that's what I was saying. What he has done to me is it equivalent to what I have done, which is verbal. I didn't physically harm him, and but he physically harmed me, and uh, so it's not equivalent. It's not even close. You know what I'm saying? So I forgive him, and it's, it came from the heart. It's, it's, it's my intention in the right place. And I'm sorry, there won't be any money coming to him, you know? No money, even if his life depends on it. I don't I want to know him again, anymore. No, I don't want to know him. I don't want to cross paths with him anymore. And it's done. He played his part. He got paid to come and bug his house like that and to radiate me, him messing with me, uh, messing with my psyche in intentionally, like trying to mess with me emotionally. But he, you know, I was like, I, will, if I, will, we, I was a weak-minded person. I would be really inflicted what he had done. I would have had to go see a shrink. But I was like, oh, yeah, you're gonna play me? You're gonna, you're gonna play this game with me? Yeah, this is, I was like, whatever, you know? So I, I kept my composure and stuff, and I was like, okay, you don't want to play games? Let's play games, you know? So that's what I, exactly what I did. But anyhow, my point of telling you the story is um, do not trust anybody coming in your life. As long as you this program, 
if they let you go, you know, because I've heard they let pe some people go. Um, but if they let you go, maybe people are going to come in your life um, without a motive. But at this point, everybody who came into my life has been with a motive. They're trying to play games. They're trying to talk about nonsense. And I'm just kind of like, you know, you're like, you want any stories? Then I'll give you stories. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what I did. Okay? Um, so my point is, do not trust anyone. Um, Satan is very crafty and he has his army. You know what I'm saying? And apparently... Satan now at a point that he's not in control. God is in control. Nobody in this planet knows what's going to happen. All of these people with money, they started like selling things, hiding their money and doing things because they know, but they don't know what's going on, when it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But my uh, intuition telling me something uh, of, of energetically being released uh, after the uh, so, uh, the solar eclipse I think coming in uh, uh, April I think this April April 29th I think look it up I think that was going to happen great things is going to happen for us guys and uh, just don't trust anyone the anime is very crafty and and uh, yeah, so I hope this helped. I'm just so sorry I went on, and but I just felt like I want to talk about this, and it's, um, and I think it's uh, a good, uh, it's like this is a good avenue for me to vent off and share with you guys because I know all of you guys are in the same boat, and I know you care about me as much as I care about you. That's why I'm helping, you know, you know, pushing out information as. Uh, but I get information coming to me and I always share it with you guys and uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys as well okay so we'll you know I guess till next time all right good luck and uh, we'll talk <laughs>